Lefty behind the plate, catching Jose Arquiti for the first time. We're underway with a fastball upstairs. As we mentioned, have the worst record at 30 and 60 in the American League. The Washington Nationals, the overall worst record was at the start of play tonight with Houston coming in at 58 and 30. Contact in that game against the A's. not what we've seen in the past. These guys are aggressive, like to swing. And runs in those three games. They did start out this rodeo in their three games against the Rangers. That ball up the middle, that'll be a base hit. Vimeo Machine, a leadoff hitter with a single into center field. It's his ninth hit of the season. <laughs> Now here's Ramon Laureano celebrating a birthday here in Houston, 28 years old today. This one popped high in the air to shallow left field. Chaz McCormick will come in a few steps and put it away. Laureano flies out for the first down. Yeah, me too. I got out of my truck and the sun was just creeping over the horizon. We're not alone, and that's why the Altuve's and the Gerd days off and get some guys some experience and some at-bats. Yeah, it'll be important for especially the guy. Sean Murphy, the batter, with an 0-2 count, and Urquidy goes right after him and tacks him with a fastball and strikes him out. Murphy. Brown's got a five-game hitting streak going as he waves and misses at the first pitch. It's Owen winning in as a team batting 2-10 on the season. That one bounces away from Corey Lee. He spun around a 360 before he found it. It was in front of the plate, and he thought it got behind him. So that'll be a pitch in the... Keeping it in front. Little chopper foul off the Aldonado behind the plate. 408 overall. Corey Lee catching him for the first time in a good first inning. Corey fires it down to J.J. Matajevic after that strikeout. Or Kitty getting... Gentlemen ...have some success again here tonight. But he said that the key to, the, to Jose Urquidy's success recently has been establishing a mix that's been working really well for him as of late. Guys. All right, Kaylee, thanks. Yeah, sometimes results that he wanted, so he went back to his original combination of pitches and has been working much better lately. Act that Kaylee brought up Josh Miller talking about that changeup coming back into play a little bit more often because that was his best pitchers and left-handers. But I think getting off that cutter may have made that slider a little bit better when he's been on that. Changeup didn't have the depth maybe earlier yeah. in the year, too, and he's getting better depth with that pitch. That's a call third strike. Pinder on a 3-2 pitch thought he had drawn a... Oh, he was pitching to contact. A little bit different story here today. I think Corey Lee is going to learn quickly. He was probably staff. Urquidy is going to probably hit your glove more often than not. This ball grounded towards third. Alex Bregman will make the play across. J.J. Matajevic with the long stride to pick off. Probably went over the A's quite extensively, but the fact that Urquidy just faced Oakland gave the career home run against Urquidy is one for five. This one popped foul, and that'll be out of play. Kemp around to bunt, pops one back in. 1-2 pitch, and Urquidy has four strikeouts getting to... has been very good behind those starters also. Urquidy drops in the curve and then retiring the next six Oakland A's. Urquidy is the quickest worker versus Oakland. Urquidy on that list, coming in with a 176 batting average against the Oakland A's. The starter in his career. Second time this year, back-to-back -back starts against Oakland. Has bolt fouls with the pitch com, and he's ready to go. That's a nice pitch. Paul third strike. Sky Bolt goes down looking. How about Irk for the Astros tonight? We mentioned the late travel. Urquidy and Jake Odorizzi flew ahead. Start on Sunday, but those guys flew ahead of the team, so they're the only two well-rested guys, but Urquidy's going. And now he gets ahead again, one and two. Softly hit towards short. Pena's going to have to charge. His off-balance throw will be in time. Matajevic makes the play. And that's two outs in the inning. 
That'll be coming out of the All Star break Thursday. Machine takes a pitch for. That one's popped high in the air. Bregman looks at Pena. Pena now looking back at Bregman as Alex <laughs> takes charge for the final out of the inning. But so far, that first time through the lineup, he has been aggressive with the fastball and being able to get that spin over the plate. Ramon Laureano hits a high fly ball to left field. Chaz McCormick has it lined up as he calls off Jeremy Pena and Laureano. Uh, mirror image twins. You've got the righty version in Urquidy and the lefty version in Cole Irvin. In terms of tempo, he's actually two seconds per pitch slower than Cole Irvin. And this ball is going to be a tough chance for McCormick. He'll have to play it on a hop. He'll barehand it. Sean Murphy heading for second, and he'll be safe with a head first slide. Dubon couldn't quite handle the throw. I'm not sure if it would have mattered, but Murphy ends up. Well, Murphy, who's been their best hitter for over a month now, doubles with one out, and Seth. There it was. First. The five strikeouts tonight, unusual in the contact that day. Two one pitch is a strike. It's two and two in fastball counts. And are almost sitting on the off speed stuff. It's now three and two. Good idea with, with their fastball. Three two pitches fouled back. the team high in this Oakland lineup as he pops one up foul territory Lee gives it a look near the camera well and he puts it away right in front of the camera by the A's dugout Corey Lee love it here's Chad Pinder fouls one back Missing the fastball at the top of the zone. Pinder down in the count. Owen. Call third strike outside corner. The even oh, better look right picture. there. It's part of Astros NASA night tomorrow. It'll commemorate the idol. Altuve fans? Yeah. There's quite a, a few. Huh? There's quite a few of them. <laughs> I mean, that's a year. So sweet. Stay tuned for that as well. Elvis Andrews, the hitter, pops a foul out of, gets ahead of Andrews here, one and two. That ball in the air to left field, pretty well hit, but playable for Chaz McCormick on the warning track. Chaz puts it away. Interesting to see how this game does unfold because the pitchers are working quick. They throw a lot of strikes that we talk about. You've also got Jerry Meals back there who's given a little bit of a. Here's Tony Kemp. Kemp fouls one back. Kemp struck out, but a run in this game could loom large the way both Urquidy and Irvin have been pitching for either. Urquidy, fastball, curveball, changeup. We've talked about how the, there you go, great curveball getting in there in baseball against left-handed pitching. So it's kind of a unique matchup. Struck out Pender on a 3-2 pitch earlier. And now he gets... Kemp to pop one up. Alex Bregman on the infield takes charge. And the Astros third baseman puts it away for out number two. Both missing time this year, both with an open. Center fielder is five. Has been the regular center fielder since coming off the IL the last time. One a tapper, Jeremy Pena will make the play, but he kind of sat back on it too long to get to second base. I'll bring up Nick Allen. Allen shoots one to right field, and that will be a foul ball. Just foul down the right field line. They lose their challenge. That one upstairs for a ball, one and one. Not had anybody reach second base. And Allen fouls one back. It's one and two. Characteristic for this Astros defense. This ball to right field, but there is Siri. Can he make the? That one.
popped up foul. Matajevic giving pitches here to Nick Allen. And he tried to hold up on a pitch up. He goes around. Six against the A's this year, all on the road as Vimeo Machine leads off and misses the changeup. So Arkiti Machine has singled in two at bats. Jose working with a lead for the first time tonight. And shows would love to see Arkiti get through six. It would be even better even if he can get them through seven is Chaz McCormick who scored the run in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Puts that one away for the first out of the six. Six outs to hopefully pick up that W. And then you have Justin Verlander tomorrow. He's the guy who usually goes to break. Pitch catches the top of the zone against Ramon Laurie. Going two innings for the first time all year. Through 23 pitches. So Presley's down. Available is because he is Hector. Abreu off 34 pitches is probably down again. Here's Jake Myers on the move to try and put one away against Ramon Laureano, and he does. Myers catches up to it. As we had talked about it, where were they going to go next? And Presley threw nine pitches to get through that ninth inning. But I don't know what their other options were at that point. Yeah. If that had gone on to the 11th inning, I don't know if Dusty and throw in that series. So that was a huge six outs for Ryan Presley, who continues to be perfect since that game at Yankee Stadium. 24 straight batters retired. In fact, there two different runs of 24 and 25 straight. Oh, do it, Jose or Kitty. Froze. Astros playing small ball to get that one run across, and right now that's the difference. And her Kitty drops in. Brown has struck out and popped up. And this ball looped in the shallow left field coming on McCormick. We'll have to play it on a bounce. Seth Brown. Didn't hit it hard, but he found some open grass in left field in front of McCormick. Chad Pinder. Pinder's been called out on strikes twice tonight and takes a fastball for a strike. Going. Foul tip. Fromber Valdez, who leads the way by a wide margin with 14. That ball hit well to right center field. Back goes Myers, still on the move. That's going to be off the fence. Played there by Myers. Being held at third is Seth Brown as Jake gets it back in quickly. But Chad. And there's a line drive up the middle. That'll be a base hit, scoring one run. Being waved home, and now the ball is booted by Jake Myers. The throw to second, and Andrews will be. Bullpen going with Stanek warming up. Kemp swings through the first pitch. It's 0-1. Miss Andrews. Little check swing. Foul ball. That one gets past Corey Lee, and that'll allow. Got to be able to cover the five hole. Big strikeout there for Kitty with a runner on third and less than two outs, getting Tony Kemp's. 